and our, our sweep, we want to animate this so that it grows along the length of the helix. And the way that we do that is by animating the start and end growth values on our sweep object. So I'm going to go to frame zero on my timeline and um, I'm going to set the start and end growths down to zero for both of them. So that's going to make our sweep object disappear. It hasn't started growing at either the start or the end. It's there, but it's, it's, um, it's disappeared. Now, I want to animate the start growth uh, to begin with. So at frame zero, I'm in my sweep. Now, we did keyframes last week where we used this keyframe button on the, uh, on the interface. That keyframe button sets a keyframe for position, rotation, and scale values. Anything else in the interface in Cinema 4D that you want to animate, you use these circles next to um, whichever attribute it is that you're animating. So at frame zero, with my sweep selected, I'm going to make a keyframe on my start growth by just clicking on that circle. It will turn red, and you'll also see a little wee keyframe marker on the timeline where you've just set your, your keyframe. Now, I want my sweeps to take maybe three seconds to sweep from the bottom of my logo up to the top. So I'm going to drag my timeline uh, playhead along to frame 75. We're working at 25 frames a second. Three seconds is 75 frames. So that's at frame 75. Now I'm going to change this start growth to 100%. So you can see as you drag it up, there it is growing along the length of the spiral. One thing you'll notice as well is the little dot, the keyframing dot next to the name has now changed to yellow, which means that there is a keyframe on this object, but you've changed something. What I want to do is I want to click on that yellow keyframe to set a new keyframe. So that little yellow is indicating that something has changed, but you haven't set a keyframe here. So that's how the color coding on these dots work. Red means you've set a keyframe, yellow means that value just changed and you haven't set a keyframe. So what we should have now is a start and an end keyframe for the start of the sweep animating along its path. Now I want to do exactly the same thing with the end of my sweep, but I want to offset it in time by a few frames so that it delays a little bit behind the other ones so we get a bit of a, a, bit of a gap. So the way that I do this, I'm going to go back to zero on my timeline, just click the playhead, drag it back to zero. I'm going to drag along in my timeline until my sweep object is the length that I want it to be um, during this entire um, animated process. So for me, I quite like where my sweep is there at about 15 frames. It's done about a half a rotation around my logo. So this is the point that I want the end to start moving and chasing it. So what I'm going to do here at frame 15, now I'm going to set a keyframe for the end growth. That's telling it I want you to start moving. And because I've got a 15 frame gap between the start of my sweep and the end of it starting to take off, I'm going to do the same thing at the other end. I'm going to use a 15 frame gap at the end. So my the start of my sweep it finishes animating at frame 75. If I add 15 frames onto that, it's 90. And now I'm going to set my end growth value to 100% and keyframe it. Don't forget to click the little keyframe button. So I've got these two bits of animation, the start of my sweep and the end of my sweep. They're both doing the same thing. They're running up that helix, but there's a 15 frame gap between them, which gives us the length of this um, shape. 